Want to win a PlayStation 5? Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Today, we'll look at how different animals see the world. Stay until the end for some animals with compound eyes. Colorblind? We've heard so many stories about dogs seeing only in black and white, or cats seeing better in the dark. Are these stories true? Just how does the world look through the eyes of the birds and the bees? The thing is, humans can't really see through the eyes of these animals. But scientists have done countless experiments and research about the visual systems of various animals. And here's the lowdown on some of the things that these experts have discovered about how different animals see the world. And we start with the first popular story. Contrary to popular belief, dogs don't actually see the world in stark black and white. They can see color, but only shades of yellow and blue. They can't see shades of red and green. In human terms, this makes them colorblind. If you show this picture to dogs, they won't be able to see the number 57 or the circle. Dogs are very nearsighted, so things appear quite blurry to them unless they go near it. But they have wide peripheral vision, so they see more of the world in just one glance. But even if they don't have great eyes, their noses more than make up for this shortcoming. So they actually see more with their nose than with their eyes. They smell the shape, physical characteristics, and even the emotions of creatures around them. Yes, folks, dogs can smell fear and happiness and sadness. So really, they don't need good eyesight. Their noses are good enough for them. Night vision. On to the next popular story. And this one is actually true. Cats do see well in the dark. They have night vision that's incredible when compared to puny humans. This all boils down to the anatomy of their eyes. Cat eyes have what's called a tapetum lucidum. It's a reflective layer made up of rods behind the retina. This enhances their ability to see in the dark and movements in low light environments. On the other hand, they don't have a lot of cones in their eyes so they don't have a great day vision. They don't see vibrant colors or details in high resolution. In a way, they're also colorblind because they also see things in the red-green ranges. But because of how their eyes are located on their heads, they have a wide field of view. They can see 200 degrees. That means that, like dogs, they can see so much more with just a glance. Perfect for a nocturnal hunter. But cats aren't the only ones with night vision. Animals with big eyes compared to their bodies generally have their ability. So we have owls, tarsiers, raccoons, and geckos. And of course, we have hunters like foxes and the big cats like leopards and tigers. Long Distance Vision If dogs and cats are nearsighted, birds are definitely farsighted. Although, different types of birds see in different ways. They all have very high-density receptors. This allows them to clearly see things in animals even if they are far away. After all, long-distance vision is important for birds, not just for hunting but for safe flight as well. So this is even if their prey is thousands of feet away. Day hunters like falcons, kestrels, vultures can hunt it with no problem. This eye structure also helps night hunters like owls to see well in the dark. And we have to give a special mention to the king of all birds, the eagles. Eagles have eyeballs that are almost the same size as ours, but eagles see about eight times as far as humans can. So they can spot and focus on a small animal like a rabbit even if it's two miles away. To compare, we can see a candle flame at that distance, but if the flame is camouflaged by other things, we won't be able to see it clearly. Eagles can quickly shift focus and sort of zoom in on their prey. So even if the rabbit is hiding in tall grass, eagles can still spot them. Also, birds are tetrachromats. This means that they see the basic colors like blue, red, and green plus ultraviolet rays. This allows them to see shades of color that we humans can't see with our naked eyes. It's almost impossible to emulate what birds see, but some experts think it's almost like a psychedelic experience with really high definition so they can differentiate small changes in coloration in their prey. Again, a useful skill when you have to hunt prey from high in the air. Infrared vision Snakes generally have poor eyesight. They see some color and blurry things, but that's okay for them because they don't view the world through their eyes. They view it through their snouts. You see, snakes have infrared sensitive receptors and grooves deep in their snouts. Despite their tiny size, these sensors are at least 10 times more sensitive than the best artificial infrared sensors humans have built. 
So just like the alien and predator, they see thermal signatures rather than actual bodies of creatures around them. Being cold-blooded creatures themselves, they're attracted to warm-blooded prey and environments. This is why campers oftentimes get snake visitors in their blankets or other warm spots in the camp. But during the day when the sun is shining and pretty much everything around them is hot, snakes rely on movement rather than their infrared receptors when looking for prey. So this can make them deadly night or day. Death Perception When it comes to eyes, all animals, including humans, are divided into general categories. Those whose eyes are located in front of their heads are hunters. Most of the time, they have vertical slits for their pupils. Those whose eyes are located at the sides of their heads are prey. Most of these are grazers. Now that we've talked about several predators, let's turn our eyes to some grazers, specifically goats and sheep, both the domesticated and wild kinds. If you look closely, their eyes have pupils that are are shaped like horizontal lines, sort of like the eyes of a snake or a fox, only in a different direction. Slitted eyes give these animals really great depth perception and night vision. We've talked about night vision, so let's focus on depth perception. This is very useful because grazers need to be very good at judging how near or far predators are. So if they know that lions are still far away, they can nibble a few more blades of grass before running away. On the other hand, if the predators are near, they can instantly leap into action to get away from their hunters. We're halfway through. Are you liking this video? Then please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit that notification button for regular updates of our informative and exciting animal videos. Blind Spot and Double Vision Let's continue our focus on grazers and talk about another part of how they view the world, the blind spot. Let's use the horse for this one. Since their eyes are on different sides of their heads, horses can't see what's in front of them. They may have great peripheral vision, but there's a big blind spot in front of their noses. They have to turn their heads to eliminate this blind spot. Also, their minds can't merge the two images that they see from their eyes. If they were humans, it'd be like having two separate heads. Natural Fish Eye Lens When professional photographers want to capture something with a wider perspective, they generally use a wide-angle lens. And one of the most popular types of wide-angle lens is the fish eye lens. Why is it called a fish eye lens? Well, because it's supposed to mimic the fish eye perspective of a fish. Yep, fish generally have a spherical lens that allows them to have a wide field of vision. This structure also magnifies nearby things, sort of like when you look through a security camera and the person on the other side stands closer to the camera. This is probably the reason why fish always look surprised. Imagine just swimming in your tank and suddenly this gigantic treat is floating in front of you. Not quite as blind as a bat. And here's another animal who sees things in a different light. Literally, you've probably heard of the saying, blind as a bat. That's actually inaccurate. Bats aren't exactly blind. Actually, big bats are supposed to have three times better eyesight than humans. But their eyes are extremely sensitive to light and can't see colors. This makes it hard for them to see well during the day. But when the night comes, their eyes become sharp. Some of them even see ultraviolet light. Because they have great light vision, some of them don't even use echolocation when looking for food. Although, speaking of this ability, the majority of bats do use echolocation to verify how the world looks through sound. They produce a constant stream of high-pitched sounds only they can hear. These sounds hit insects, flowers, or other animals and bounce back to the bats. So the bats get a pretty accurate idea of which spots to go to and which ones to avoid. So next time you hear someone say blind as a bat, tell them that's not true. Independent eyes. Except for horses, all the animals we've talked about have eyes that pretty much coordinate with each other. But here's a pair of hunter eyes that have different contracts and targets. Rat and mouse vision is extremely blurry and tinged with a blue-green color. Albino rats are actually considered blind or at least severely visually impaired. But what makes them unique on this list is their eyes move quite independently from each other. Look, the left eye is looking down while the right eye looks up. That's almost a superpower. 
compound eyes. And now we come to the animals that we think have the most unique way to view the world. Well, actually, that should be unique ways because most insects have compound eyes. Okay, so here's a cockroach. How many eyes does it have? And here's a bee. How many eyes? How about a dragonfly? How many eyes? If you answered two, yeah, technically you're right. But if you look really closely at these eyes, you'll see that there are actually hundreds of tiny lenses that make up what you think of as their eyes. This is called compound eyes. Contrary to popular belief though, insects don't see the same image multiplied a hundred times. Nope, not like that, more like this. Each lens adds up to a small detail to make up one whole image, sort of like the pieces of a mosaic or a jigsaw puzzle. The number of lenses depends on an insect. A dragonfly has as many as 30,000 lenses. By the way, a honeybee actually has five eyes two large compound eyes and three smaller eyes in the center of its head. And there you have it, our feature on how different animals see the world. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a message for a chance to win a PlayStation 5. And while you're here, check out our video on the top 10 animals with the biggest horns.